Uh, I uh, am uh, myself, um, Magnus Fiskefue, uh, a member, faculty member of the East Asia program and also in anthropology. And um, uh, I'll introduce my fellow um, panelists in uh, a moment. But uh, first, I'd like to um, explain briefly why we're here. Uh, we uh, um, uh, have, um, since five years, seen uh, massive atrocities uh, perpetrated against um, Uyghur and other ethnic minority people uh, in Western China. Uh, there is the mass detention of innocent people, up to 2 million. And from these camps, people are being transferred to forced labor or to prisons. Uh, there's mass family separations uh, and the mass forced sterilizations of women. There's also been destruction of cultural heritage, bulldozing of historical sites, prohibitions against the Uyghur language and so on. And uh, all this together, uh, there's a long list of countries that already labeled this uh, a genocide. Even so, uh, many countries around the world uh, have not done much more than express concern and uh, protest, but not done much to stop it. There are some countries that have adopted uh, limited sanctions against some Chinese officials and against some Chinese companies that are involved in building these camps and so on. Um, then uh, there's a um, struggle at the uh, United Nations, which has a high representative for human rights, Michelle Bachelet. She has uh, promised to herself issue a report. She's been concerned and worried about what is happening for several years. In December, she said this report would come out soon. We still have not seen it, and it's difficult to understand why this is being delayed. Uh, December was also when the independent uh, tribunal called the Uyghur Tribunal uh, concluded in London, also concluding this is genocide and crimes against humanity, uh, issuing a voluminous report on this uh, the evidence. Um, but still, there's not much action taken to try to halt these atrocities. That's why our question advertised, uh, asking the question, what are the prospects for halting China's mass atrocities in uh, the Uyghur region? And that's what we'll try to talk about. Um, I have to mention, I cannot forget that uh, we are co-sponsored, uh, arranged by the East Asia program, but co-sponsored by the China and Asia Pacific Studies program the Judith Reppi Institute for Peace and Conflict Studies, the Comparative Muslim Societies uh, Program, uh, the Critical Ottoman and Post-Ottoman Studies Program, and also the Department of Anthropology, of Government, and of uh, Asian Studies. And as I said, we'll be recording, and this uh, recording will be available on our East Asia Program Vimeo channel. Uh, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, our special guest, uh, Tursune Ziavudun, who's uh, herself a survivor of the Chinese concentration camps. And we'll hear from her about her experience and her thoughts. Uh, she'll uh, be speaking in Uyghur and translated into English by our fellow Cornelian, uh, Rizvangul Nur Muhammad, who is. Um, um, an MPA student uh, at Cornell, and who has herself also been affected by these same atrocities. Um, together with uh, me, uh, Alan Carlson of the government department and uh, director of the China and Asia Pacific Studies Program uh, is uh, also a host and facilitator uh, who will be um, monitoring questions at the end the questions will only be through the Q&A function uh, of, of this program. So anyone that has a question that comes up during uh, our talking uh, can write them in there. And then we will hopefully get to as many as possible at the end. And uh, with that, I'd like to turn it over to um, Rizvangul, 
who uh, uh, perhaps can start by mentioning her own um, and her own family's um, connection to what is happening and then turn it over to uh, her countrywoman, uh, Tursune, to explain to us her experiences um, from there. Please. Thank you, Professor Magnus. Hello, everyone. Um, good afternoon. I am Rizwan Gundur Mohammed. As Professor Magnus mentioned, that I am uh, Cornelian. I am uh, MPA 2020, um, 2022 fellow. And today I'm here. I'm very grateful to have this opportunity to speak about what's happening to Uyghurs and uh, bring your attention to this um, genocide that's going on. I am one of the Uyghurs. Um, of the millions of Uyghurs that <clears throat> have been impacted by this genocide. <clears throat> As uh, Magnus, Ma Professor Magnus has just mentioned that, you know, um, there were detention, uh, arbitrary detention have been happening as well as um, that it, consequently family separations have been happening. So myself and my family and my brother uh, have been affected by this, and we are the victims of such arbitrary detention as well as a family separation. For example, um, this is my brother. Um, he, his name is Mawlan Nur Muhammad. He was 31 year old when he was detained, det uh, when he was arbitrarily detained in January 2017. He was a decent guy, he was family orientated, um, a young Uyghur father. He was full-time employed by China Telecom, Bola City branch. He was working full-time. And uh, meantime, um, with the support of his employer, he actually also registered a new small business that provides services uh, related to internet. That registration itself already proves that he has no criminal records. If he had any criminal records, he wouldn't get that registration successfully. That is only one of the, you know, um, proof, one of the many proofs that he is innocent. He was innocent, but he was an Uyghur. That resulted him to be in detention since January, 2017. Now it's more than five years. He's, imagine 31 year old, this is, a a very critical age for every any human beings. This is the age for you set up your career, you really kind of flourish, you know, uh, to what you would, not, would like to achieve in your life. He had a family. His son was only nine months old when he was arrested. His life ruined. Now his youth and his life has been languishing in Chinese detention for the crime that he did not commit. He is the example of millions of Uyghurs who have been unjustly, unfairly bullied and have been uh, in the detention for no reason. He shouldn't be in the detention, not even for an hour, but he has been there for five years. Whenever I speak about him, I always call for Chinese government also call for those supporters who support, uh, support Chinese government to call Chinese government to release innocent Uyghurs, including my brother, unconditionally and immediately allow them to reunite with their family. They deserve a good life, not in the detention. Um, by saying this, I finish my um, introduction today of my own uh, circumstances. And now we can um, hear the real life experience uh, by uh, Tursuna Ziauddin. By saying that I also am, uh, would like to express my concerns about my brother. Um, Tursuna Ziauddin will um, speak about how she was treated in detention centers. My brother was in detention centers first and he was transferred to prison. And that condition, that condition really worries it's really worrisome and I always worry that how he's mentally like, you know, and physically have been like, has been capable of uh, enduring all this to torture in um, prisons. He could be in like labor, for forced labor, that is maybe a better condition, but 
No, he does not deserve any such kind of detention. He should have a free life and reunited with his family. And thank you. And Tursnay, uh, should we start? Tursnay, I'm Subiz Bashlamdo. Ahmed. Assalamualaikum. I'm Alaman. Tursnay, the Odin. Nahtainan does a lager than I at Kaloji. Sputum there. Bugün slab ile körüşüp etendik aşk hedimlerine avaz bulup aşlanan tatlı atkan zulümlerini dünyada davet konum için sizlere gibi birinci rahmet etmeye yani bir kadem bana yani dünyada altış pürsütü vergin Allah'a muşuzan oğlaştan ona Allah'a hem Allah'a rahmet etmeye. Good afternoon everyone. I am Tursun Ziyavudun. Here I am really grateful for the organizer and the audiences that um, come to listen to us today. Um, I have been speaking about Uyghurs uh, on many chances, and uh, every time I get the chances, I'm really grateful to have such an opportunity to speak out for my family, uh, for my um, people who are suffering in under the Chinese oppression. And um, thank you all. Man. Мен апакат гунайм Қазақстанға шыққалығым үшін мен Қазақстанда 5 жыл тұрғандығым деді апакат қытайдан деген үшін. Ұяда мен оған қарындаштарым бар, ұяда еш қандай гунасыз, себепсіз. Апакат намаз оқып болғандығы үшін, ұяға яғдық шығып болғандығы үшін, апакат ұйғыр болғандығы үшін кірген. I am a camp survivor. I was detained twice. The reason I would believe that because I visited Kazakhstan um, before, um, this is one of the reasons that, you know, random reasons that we could be detained in East Turkestan. And uh, there are millions of Uyghurs who are detained for no reason. There are uh, Uyghurs who are detained because they prayed. There are Uyghurs who um, uh, have been visited overseas. Um, they are suffering. Ben ikinci kitim lagır kamalga vaktim ne mengü isimden çıkmak dek bir gün bulup mu ayet dedik gün. Mana bu ayalla bayırmı hem muş üçüncü ay men için. Bütün dünya ayalla günü bolsa biz uyur ayalları için o günü bir matem ga aylandır vetken vakti yükümeti. The especially the detention that happened the second time. To me, was very memorable, very painful memory that he left, and that um, experience left in my heart. And uh, as you all know, that we are going to, it is like Women's Day tomorrow. But while all the women, women's around the world is like able to celebrate their day of the year, the Uyghur women are suffering, and it is a day for Uyghur women, a grief day for the Uyghur women. Should <laughs> İşten kriyenden tatipler siz kontrolünüz yok siz bunu açıda bitler aşlanan mang diye yedi mang siz hatta burada siz bu kadar mı açıda men birinci kriye vaktim aş bir bir mumay bilen men bile katarlaş ki daha bir kız bile üçümüz katar kırdık onu da sırt nurgun adam ne kırıvatkan lakin men böyle böyle bir şekilde üçüne kırıvatkan köz aldım da aş mumaylarını yaştırıp aş da Mumsızlaştık, hayvanlaştık. Hemimiz de mesela minam aç kulaklarım da halkalarım da zırp tatip edip kalan akız başta kıvetti. O gün bek çok zırhs bop diye. Üç tür tapu zaten kırvat etti. I was detained on 10th of March, second time uh, in 2018. It was very scary. The first time I was detained, it was most likely kind of training. You know, we got some training and studies. But second time when I go, when I was detained, it was unimaginable. It was very scary. 
Like when once we enter the door of the police station, we have armed or police police um, armed police men and women around us everywhere in surveillance, and we don't have any control of our anything, any movement, anything. It was very scary. We were forced to um, forced to. Um, um, take off our clothes uh, to stay naked, and uh, it was it was made in a very inhuman way. There we are old ladies, old Uyghur ladies, but even them was not excluded from such kind of um, abuse. They were asked to to to take off their clothes and stay naked for the examination. Um, they also used force. They forcefully took off my earrings and made my ear. Um, um, bleeding. So it was very scary. And uh, we were like, we were forced to enter the detention center by, by small teams, like two or three. Men, o lagrın açıdaki köy gelirimini üye etkilen, men tepsiyle edip kesem, ne saatlap, ne kulep sözleşem tüğmeydi. Şu an çıkan, men fakat üzerimle bir işimden ötken üye de ve Yürüyün de aşçarayat kaldırgan neslerden deysem. Biz keçisi fakat uxlayamaydık onun için deme. Ekirgen dili biz ne bir iştar kış e, tört metrelik öyünün aşçı kama dey. Onun için de e, jigirmedek ayalı tuğduk başta. Kiyin redlap 15 tek 14 tün aşçı dağı bölü dey. Onun için de keçisi saat 10 dün kiyinli adam kıynaş her xil aşçı dağı başlanat dey. Keçilere civar dep tuğuz koyat dey. Onun için de her xil avazla terep terep den kip durat dey. Kokunuştu biz hatta közümüzde bir minutunda cümüştüm o kokat aşta dirizlerin avazlan çıkarırken her kıl kokunuştu avazlan. Çokum biz biz ne bilmiyoruz o şundak bu kaçan kil edigen bu nimiş bu adı da nimiş kuvatı mı bilemeyen alet aşta yaşaydı. Lakin o gün biz ne bilmiyoruz bu kerdi bir gün tuyak siz. Ne if I talk about everything that I have experienced and witnessed in the camps, um, it will take me four hours to say. And um, um, let me just tell you that, you know, what is really like, you know, um, have left like a deep uh, scar in my heart and in my memory. Um, we used to, uh, couldn't sleep at night. We couldn't sleep in the camps and um, at the beginning, it was like 20 people in a four meters uh, kind of uh, um, small room. And later on, they made us like um, 15, but still it is too, too, too small. The cell is for us, a group of people to stay there. And uh, after 10 p.m., we could sometimes, we could start to hear women screaming. And um, that one itself is quite scary for us and we couldn't sleep we couldn't uh, dare to close our eyes because we always fear that you know anytime we could be in that situation that we could be taken taken to to to torture anytime so we couldn't sleep there is always fear <laughs> Toktayakla bir şıkkıdım urup, aşı şapılak özlerim urup kağın ındak pek kıyım edin. Yani o kıyımda ip çıkan üç gün aş boydu, üç gündən artık rak bu dayıma. Eşkılıp tahminen bilemeyim, aştak kecinin kayvak boğunu unutu bilemeyiz, karanğı yakımaydı. Yakında tümü orunda otta ağızıp koydu bağla, bir vaxt, bir üç, üç gün bulay diyen vaxt koyu etdi, koydu, koyu tamak yedə koyup. Handiki mən, bir kazak balı tükem, indim kağın aşınağı tamakın yemeyim hemen. Kerekemez bol. Ötürü tanla bir bir bunda kıyınıp, pek kıyınıp etdi. Töktayaklarla uru vattı da uyuya da. Bir xil xorlap başında kılıklanıp kıp kentdi. Elik boldıla da bir kazakman yaqısı esilip aş. Boldıla ötürü edem. Men bunda kıyınıp neymiş kılıs da kolumda koyu etişi başta kıptı menke. Muşaqımın iki bir xıtay saxçı kip kattı uru vattı. Muş yüzümge aş şıkıldım. Şunlandan tam kılıklarım kip kattı uru vattı. Dersler bir vaxt bilmeyi mi kudum ne bilmeyi şıklıp kağıt aşı aş, öyle rahat ekip yatak ekip taş yaptı. Um, one day uh, they took me for questioning. That was after three days. Uh, 
went without any food. They, get, they didn't give me any food for three days. And then they took me to, to the questioning and they put me in the tiger chair. At that, um, that day, also the policeman, uh, um, I believe that he was a Kazakh ethnic uh, policeman. He gave me some food to eat. But that time um, I told him that, you know, kill me because this humiliation, this torture I have been experiencing is, is it's undurable. It's like too much for me, please kill me. While I was saying that a Han Chinese policeman came to me and then he beat me on my um, face with his fist straight away. I, I was knocked down. And then he also started to kicking me on my body. Um, they beat me um, for the time and then they put me in my own cell. <laughs> Men şu kundan başlap içimden toktmaya kan tip ağrısı başladı. Onunla karmasın yana berkete berkızla. Kiçilerin açık ki ben kızlan açtak bir işler payda bu. Onun için de tuyuksuz sonra kızardı. Kiçisi açık ki de doğru saat on dün kim başladı. Kayıvak bu onu bilmeyiz açtak. Bazıları ki yani kim sarang kaldı ya kızlanam. Mehiran kal mende bu nimiçün bunda buldu. Bu nimiçün uruvat kan mı doğru kinavat aş mem manuşa tayak yap geldim ki deyme. Bazıları ki yani kim manuşa işte kan git aş nehmeden ölüp gitti. Bazıların doktor hanı akıttı, sarangla doktor hanı sığa. Bazıları şu cayda ottan yerde kitipla muşta oturup kaldan bu kaldı. Yok ben düşünemeyim. Bir ayal geldi, o ayal muşta yokup gitti. Ne çıkın o ayal mı? O iyi bu nimiş yokup gitken de doktor kın ekeldi o ayal eke yendi ki nasıl? Et soğut maşna açtım da nim kaldan. Bir on beş gün daha cigerim kendi bir baş göz yutan muncu battı. Şunun Junuvalay dedi, hadi sahçeden sor dedi, hadi dedi. Junuvat konumuşta karab kaptı ki, ben üstü başlarına gayen nasıl kokunuşluk işte, taltret ki, mu çişlevet ki, azından nimesel kızgılavat da, adet kızgılaşma biz mümkün değil ki, biz yok onu açtı. İlk kızma bedenler diye, işte taltret ki, de kaçtak çişlevet ki, ilk kızgılavat da Junuvat da, kör kaptı ki, ben yürüyüm ağzım tuğuy, kuday tuğan nimbu kan, bu nimiş kan dedi. Aşta uylab kettim, lakin o işte mi mi diye mi de yine bu hangi kim? Ab niye buldum da bunda bir yine bir bir koydum ya kalamaydım şu baş boynum kesildi şaklap kürsetme aşta buldu buldu işte bu mu double otta de o şaklas kim buymaydı kamera de bizde. Tosnay siz o mantı aşı periyat aşı sultruat kan aşı. Ha aşta işte de. Ha işte de. Mala kür tosan geçende. Ha ya aşta bizde onda o kür turş yok kamera var şu da hayatta mantı aşta mecbur şu da ya Allah aşkına. Ya aşta mala tosan aşta mantı olsunsun. Ha ha mecbur aşta kuru. So we were talking about how she was beaten by the police policeman. She said that you know that is our situation. We we uh, the female detainees over there, they they were like frequently subjected to torture like this, and um, especially uh, okay. So the uh, the woman who we are taken to questioning, they came sometimes. They came like you know they lost their minds. They just like they they just don't speak anything. They just sit there and then stare at somewhere and then they don't speak as, as if they just lost their mind some of them um some of them started bleeding just like me um i was starting i i started to bleed after the uh, after the beat by the policeman and uh, some of the women actually they disappear for several days and then come back some of them they just they disappear forever we don't know what's happening to them um one um, one time I saw with my own eyes how a Uyghur woman was beaten um, by looking at the scars on her body. And um, she was taking shower and then I just looked at her and then I saw the scars. Um, she, when she was telling this um, um, experience, I asked her that, you know, where do you take um, shower? Like, how come you can see her? And she told me, she, she told me that, they take shower in the cell that they are staying. The shower is also in there. Um, as if you take shower in your own bedroom and while rest of uh, such situation is very embarrassing, but they have to like, that's the only option. 
uh, while all the other um, detainees are like in the cell, they take shower. And there are surveillance cameras as well to, to watch them. This is a humiliation, she was telling me that, you know, we take shower in front of everyone. And then she looked at that girl and then she saw that, you know, the bites, she, she describes it as um, bites from the dog. She saw the, the, the girl's body was full of scars. And after she finished um, showering, um, Tursna asked her what happened. That girl was just consistently crying, um, but she said nothing, nothing. She didn't tell her anything. Tursna also said that we were not allowed to cry. We were not allowed to talk. So we were very careful, but still um, she didn't tell me anything. Saat <gülüyor> One day, I, one day, uh, one night, I was taken, uh, taken by the policeman, and as a young girl who is at her twenties, she was also taken at the same time. Uh, I witnessed myself that she was raped in front of me, my eyes. I was not exempt. I was also raped. And they questioned me first and they tortured me and they even put the electric stick on my vagina. Um, they raped me. Gün de keçe de aşında munda iki taraf qarda zal oqşash aşında qıratdı öyle adam qama biz qamaqlı oturdılar zaldek tömür bile aşında manğızdı adam manğadı aşında da um, there are um, there are like rooms on the two sides of one corridor that is where we stay it's like blocked um, it's like uh, fenced by the steel uh, steel fence so i remember that there there was a man uh, in suit often come and uh, visit the cells and then call out such and such and then that girl would be taken Ishkizavasak, <gülüyor> Atta <gülüyor> Uh, one day we came to know that one of the uh, Uyghur detainee, the female uh, woman, he, she got uh, pregnant. Um, everyone was surprised because we were given unknown medicine and, um, you know, and um, 
um, and also the medicine that you know could um, could stop our period, everything like that. So, but um, she got pregnant. So the uh, policeman over there who was responsible for us um, got so angry, and he said that how come you could become um, pregnant while we are taking all these measures, and then how come the Uyghur woman uh, so easily you know can can get pregnant? We have to do something about it. And uh, the second day, we were informed that there is an order from the top officials that we have to be, uh, we have to get uh, sterilized. And um, they took us uh, for sterilization. There were girls who are even not married yet. So they were crying. We haven't even got married yet. Why, why, you do, why would you do this one to us? But nobody would listen to them and then, um, there are some women who would uh, go for bleeding if they do sterilization. So the police, uh, the the, uh, the authorities over there, I mean, they took a different approach for them, but um, eventually uh, we all got sterilized. Bunun için de ayarla bile bile tuğaşka. Fakat ayarla ne? Bana moşuncular derecede bunun da mı onun için de dert tüy etkisiz. Horluk, tılla, ahanet. Hatta sen ne mi diyen necis millet? Sıla Uyghur milleti diyen aşındak düt, kalva, saran. Sen hak mı muştak kılıç gerek? Muştak kılıç bunun dün ve beter horlaş gerek diyen gepler. Ve bizden akaratla var. O gepler diyen biz bütün gün de anlaydı an gep. Onun başta biz ayğır alaptık ki imkin tülüp mü kaldık. Tayak bu niminin desti de o biz için. Fakat ayarlarını şunda horlayın ki de oyla, ne oyla bizden muşkul görüp atınız ki de demek ki bir gün ben de kattık aşın açıdık kan doktumaya ağırıp getkendim. Aşı kızı tık kızmam öyle. Doktor kan battı ya şuna Allah'a göre doktor kan ip çıktı. İsim de bak gülsümay diyen bir muallimimiz Uyghur ayaltı de okut koçumuz. Oğullan kör kaldım ve aşı doktor kanın açtı de. Oğullan Allah'a göre işkimiz belli boğam bile mi de ayırım tırat. Ay can o. Ayrıcan oğlan kökendi kim tekrar mazap mı kettim ben üzendim onu kaldım üzendim bizden körvat konumuz biz ayarla mail edip oylat oylat demek ya o kadar biz benim ayarla bek berdaşlık mı olsun onların köp tekrar mı kokup kettim olanın bazılarının bazılarının o timi kıyıyor bir putu bir yeri çana vitil yani maçtaki yerler kan ikvat kan bazılarının bedelleri tılım tılım bop kettikken kütüre meybedin de Jarat çakaplat ki, ne çok ama Jumay aşk hamlet ki, muhtemelen jarat çakaplat ki, to ilk bitjelen ekir ki, aşağı çırayınlar diye yani sarıktan sarık ilk uygur balanın birden bir şunda, em şunda bir balla ki, bir se akam bir se inim diye ne, em birden bir çırayınlar balla ilaklan diye, kızımız bir azır can gibi sokaşka bir ki ya, azır mana em dünya sokaşka vardı, vardı o bizden o balanın bir kadın sokaş bu mahtur başta kıvetken de üstü başlarda gözün kokunuşla kalla ilgilat mı? Ben onu futurumun da çana alıp ilgibir doktor hanımda bir tine kıvat ancak mı doğulan sağla abrak değil bitirle bazı ömret çiğrap siyemeymiş. Onda bunu oğullanma cins ona oğullanma işte kıyıda da bulanın her bir kıldırış oğullarım aşında aş böyrekten keder şu doğrularını verip ki alım akamla inim ben ulagır yaptım. Yen nasıl kıvıtı ve çok cinsi yolga et sım jüge et sım naş mangozu başta kina etki nasıl mı? Çiğ kırab siyem ne yaşta onu körp diye mi? Ne şu aşka bu lagra yatım o yüzden benim cürgüm de mengü onu dolgus jarat kaldır et bu ne ihtiyacı mı kokme? So it is very hard part to translate to be honest and. Um, so, <laughs> we women were physically tortured, as I mentioned before, but there we are mental torture as well. We always hear that, you know, um, you Uyghur women are stupid, um, you you are worthless, and, uh, you know, you, should, you deserve such a kind of torture. They just want to destroy us mentally as well. So there is always um, humiliation. So I thought that, you know, I always think that, you know, uh, probably Uyghur women, we are, torture, we are uh, subjected to the most torture. But when I saw how 
like the the result of the torture on men we were men and then my perception was changed men was actually uh, suffering more than we did um how did i know that one day i was taken to the hospital because as i mentioned before that um after the beating by the policeman i was um i was bleeding like continuously so they took me to the hospital and I saw um, Uyghur men um, also brought to the hospital for treatment. And um, I, I noticed that, you know, some of them, they already lost their nails. Some of them were bleeding on their shoulders. Some of them, they, they lost their fingers. Uh, like when I saw them, it reminded me of the people that of the soldiers soldiers that came from the war we know that now there is a war going on in ukraine and these Uyghur detainees we are already injured as if they were in the war zone it is unbearable it's really unbearable it's very painful to see the injuries on their body some of them are suffering because they can't urinate I, uh, because, you know, the policemen, they put um, kind of uh, steel, um, thin uh, kind of equipment to the private part of the men to make them um, torture. So this actually resulted in that they couldn't, could not like urinate as normal. And they were also given medicine that weakened their um, kidneys. In that way, they were like, you know, physically uh, weakened and tortured. So when I saw these, like, I, when I saw this, like, I thought that, you know, men, we were detainee, uh, we were detainees, they, uh, we were male detainees are suffering much more than we are um, experiencing. And now whenever I recall this memory, I just can't, I mean, my heart is as if like, slashes with a knife. It's very painful. It's, it is very horrible memories that um, I had. Hoş hazır insan hakları depsen de bulut kan vaktte şunda insan hukuklarını kurdaydan bütün cemiyet gemiyle kişilik hukukunu hem kudam bütün dünyaya dayadanın. Mangı ben ben fakat mangı istatistik kısmını fakat kalmayım arasında ne iş ne mi iş kandak nerstele kumayım. Çok muşta insan hakları depsen de bulut kan vaktte bizna ve tendik halkımızın kutuluş için hareket kılışın ümit kılma. Bu hatayı azar dünyanın aldavatı da yana. Ey mana toxta dey, mən eşitdim qımıdıq, yaxşı lağırlıb, yaq, gərçi yağan, bütün qırımda anılan arvadı da mana. Bu deyə. Şəxsi divanlar dursun aybək uzun təpkəsiz bəzi mühim uçurlar qap qaldı ki. Əmmiz bunu yollayan qırımdaşlarımız itibatı da türmələdə, muşlarının mana. Bir günadan 20 il sotmub itibatı da bula. Bunda da mühim olan. Şəxsi divanlar dursun ay. Gitmaz bək mühim kimi şəxsi divanlar. Okay, um, sorry, I cut her off because, you know, she said very important things and also I don't, I want to translate every single word of hers. And uh, she said that, you know, um, it's endless if I um, start to tell everything that I witnessed and experienced in the camps. It's endless. I have a lot to tell. But um, the most important thing is that either be a humanitarian or human rights activists, activists please stand up for Uyghurs and take action. I don't would like to, you know, um, would like to only attract, uh, you know, and, and sympathy for myself personally, but I want, you know, I want the, and, you know, the sympathy and, the, you know, the care for Uyghurs in general. There are Uyghurs are suffering, millions of Uyghurs. She just um, showed the picture of um, family and as, a, uh, as well as a Uyghur woman. She is saying that, like these people, innocent people, they were suffering, languishing in the Chinese camps. They shouldn't be there. And she said that also uh, the Chinese government is um, deceiving the world. 
they are saying that this, this is not camp, this is just for education and uh, training, but it's not. People are suffering there. Judy. Burun <gülüyor> And the Kaiser Bolish the Digimba, Putin Minam Balam Yomas, Putin Uyurlan and Balam Minam Balam, Shamaska Man Putin Uyurlan and the Mohajat Yashava Panchatel Yashava Uyurlan, Kaiser Bolish Jure Devat Kleme, Arab Uyurbus, Chokum, Kaiser Bolish Miss Kireke, Tayukumitini, Uzumis, Chokum, Karsh Kresh Kleshims Kireke, the Oilap Kalam, Biz and the Jalab, Besh Altajal Kashawat Miss Putin Dunia, Ishim Uzger Mavadu, Mambudamush Ukornia, the Boral Sukashla Karatma Ashna is called them. Biz çokum kayserlik bu ballarımızda çokum kıtaya karşı kureş kılış terbiyeleyimiz. Hemimiz çokum kıtayını bu kanun alıp cevap verdiğim bir günlük kılışımız gerek. Ben şu anda bu yanım bizi okuşaşmışta kıyınlı batıqa insanlarını kollaydığım hoş insanları daydığını biz tarafı tutturuşunu kıtaya karşı çokum biz bilen tan insan naklarını koğdaşını bizden halkımızı koğdaş için kutuluş için hərkat kılışını ümit kılma. Hem manlağı rahmet. Um. Because of my uh, camp experience, um, uh, I used to cry a lot. I used to really cry a lot, but gradually I became, I had become more courageous. Um, we have been experiencing discriminatory policies over the years since uh, China uh, took power um, to control of our uh, homeland. It has been the recent five years that you know the extremely um, oppression has um, happened and uh, led to the genocide. So far, we have been experiencing for five years already. And uh, women like me, we were women. We have been sterilized, and then our rights for having children has been um, taken away. All the Uyghur children is my children. And I really sorry for the you know Uyghur women who like me you know have already lost the capability of bearing a um, child. And um, I feel like that you know we have to be we Uyghurs have to be courageous and be brave to speak up and fight against Chinese oppression. We have been seeing how um, brave and courageous the uh, the people of Ukraine to against the invasion. And I feel like, you know, we have to, we Uyghurs, we have to be also um, courageous and be brave to stand up the injustice and the oppression, the genocide Chinese government have been um, doing against us. And uh, I believe that there is still injustice in the world. And uh, I believe that, you know, we need to, we, we can bring a justice um, um, one day to the Uyghurs as well. So I call all of you who stand for justice, please stand by, stand with Uyghurs and help us, support us in any way possible to fight against China. China. <laughs> Biz bütün dünyanın kontrolü, fakat azır sizler biz Uyghurlar, Amerika o çat devletler bizi yardım kıl deyip oylap kalmalı. Eş kandak çatel de onda kılamaydı. Amerika'daki Uyghurlarını biz tutup gelimiz. Biz çokum ahır dünyanın bir cüngü kıp yasayımız deyip doktumayın menimizi kıyat deyip o gepini üyede düşenmeydim. Hazır düşensem, Kutay'nın dayıdığını bütün dünyanın biz kontrol kılımız deyip şu aşka bütün dünyanın boşunu bilip gelişini kalayma, mən oylayma. Çokum xtaynan aşında kontrol edip çıkan maslakını baldura xtaynan bu kuvvetten kırgıncalan toktu çünkü herkat kumsa bu tüm dünyaya tehdit kuvveti dokta yazır. Şunun için biz terapte turp yapkalışın emit kılma. Biz mi çokum xtay karşı kurşumuzda toktu kamaımız biz mi xtay karşı muşunda toktu may emdi bunun dikin. Biz mi can ilan kılmış xtay uygulama mı biz mi emdi karaptu mayımız biz emdi canlı mayımız mı aşına oylayma. 
I would like to also add one thing uh, that, you know, we were in the, uh, when I was in the camp, we were, um, as I talked before, that we were mentally um, abused, verbal abused, verbal abuse was happening every day. Um, they were also um, told us and they make us fear that, you know, don't expect any um, help from the outside of the world. And uh, we will become, the China will become the strongest um, country in the world. We will become one China. Don't even, uh, you know, daydreaming that, you know, USA will would come and uh, support you and help you. Don't even daydream about that. We even will, will, would bring, uh, would detain the Uyghurs in USA and bring them here. So they, they, they, um, put fear in our in our hearts and uh, minds in that way too. So uh, when I was uh, you know when I was here, I didn't understand what they really mean. And when I came to USA, when I learned about what's really happening like all over the world and how China is um, controlling uh, in many uh, fields with. Um, with its power and the money, then I understood that, you know, China has that um, ambition to uh, rule the world. So actually China puts threat to the world. So I uh, would like to, you know, make this um, clear, make this um, note to, you know, to be known for, um, for, for you who are listening to me that, you know, there is a danger, there is a threat from Chinese government. So we, as uh, we, I am the, as a as an Uyghur a member of the Uyghur community, I would state that you know I will fight with the China uh, until my you know last breath because we need the justice. We have to uh, fight for that. We have been seeing again you know how uh, Ukraine people are fighting for their own uh, own um, um, rights. So we have to be like you know we ha we have to do the same thing. We we will fight fight back Chinese government, yeah, Judy. Um, so she finished his, um, she finished her, yeah, if you have any questions, please, um, I am ready to answer. Thank you. Uh, Tristan, um, I'm, I'm conducting the Q and A, um, but I think probably everyone after listening to your experiences is a little bit um, taken aback and uh, probably um, need a moment to gather our thoughts. Um, but that being said, um, I really wanna thank you and Riz um, for uh, revisiting your experiences and sharing them with us here uh, so that we can all gain a better understanding of what has happened um, in Xinjiang in recent years. Riz, could you translate that for a sec? Tursnay, Professor Alan Sigrahmat, the Mushu, each inch of circus, the most name is not quite the biscuit or cotton, Yasha Peg and the biscuit, the Sula Pedans, the Kubrahmat. Uh, Thank you, Riz. Um, and uh, uh, please, um, the floor is open. We're using um, the Q&A function for questions to be asked, um, just to kind of um, monitor a little bit the flow of the discussion uh, and conversation. Uh, I think that we can ask, we could ask questions um, broader than the specific experiences in the camps. Um, there is one question already, um, Riz, and it's from Kristen Stapleton, who's an old friend. Um, she was wondering if, um, to, well, first to thank um, Tursani for sharing her experiences, and then um, have where else has she spoken? Has she spoken to people at the United Nations? Uh, and how, what impact has that had, and how, have that, how has that gone? Okay. Tursani, uh, sizga bir soal kaptu, Kristen degan ayoldin deydi. Sizga ko'p rahmat, Tursnay. Ichini shiqsar kuzatishingiz bizga so'zlab berdingiz. Bir pak hayron qoldim. Men sizni shuni bir so'rab baqsam deydi. Siz Birlashgan Millatlar Tashkilotining kishilik huquq 
kişilik oku hizmetini kıldığın e, kişilerden ve rehberlerden söz düşüp baktığınız mı? Çünkü ola müşteri sizge okşaş, izilgen, e, halıqını, müşteri yerden kıladdi, şula bilen bir nimkı baktığınız mı? Ya, müşteri sizin hem de kayıt edin müşteri sizin ayılık. İçin işlik keçir müşterimizin kayıt edin yaşaşıqa biz müşteri sizin sözü, <gülüyor> sizin mecbur kağınımızdan hemen nim kılma. Kıçıl buldum ama hemen sizin köp rahmet deydim. Kini ayşı sualımı bir cevap versiniz deydim. Tursun ayı avazınızı üç kaptı. Avazınızı çıkarın. Ah, rahmet o kişiye. Ben en çok nurgun nesne çünkü ben bilmeye kalma bu kişi nurgun adamla bile muhbirla bile körüştüm. Ben o kişilik o koç ki kayısı körüştüm, körüşmedim azır ben bilmeye vardım. Şu belki mi körüş kendime ya belki mi körüş mü kendime de böyleyim. Lakin şunu bilmedim çünkü azır körüşken körüş mü kendim fakat belki belki muhbirla bile körüş kendim de belki mi birazı şu kişilik o koçun animesin modu ben de bilmedim. Siz oladın bire bir vasıtım da bir vasıtım az siz oladın mı da bir konkret yardım aldınız mı? Ya ya onda. Okay. Onda. Okay. Cevap vereyim ben size. Yeah. I have okay. The answer is that you know. Thank you for your question. I have received a lot of uh, interviews by the journalists, and I have also had the opportunity to meet a lot of people, probably from UN as well. But as far as I remember, mm -hmm. that I haven't got any um, practical or specific help from uh, such organizations. No. To, to follow up, and this is um, drawing on the subsequent questions in the Q&A, um, does pressure um, and visibility um, from the United States help um, the situation? Is it something that more could be done? Uh, what, what do you think, Tristan? Tursun ayan bir soru deydi, azır Amerika hali işlerini kıvatıdı, Amerika müşkülteri besim düşürü atıdı, sizin için Ayşe'nin ünün bulu atamdı, yani kandak işlerini kılışımız gerek, yani çıqırak besim düşürü bir netici artış için kandak işlerini kılış gerek deydi. Bu kağanların paydası bu atıdı, Nurgun Nesil'e paydası bu atıdı, hazır məqat Xitay hükümetinin alıp, mən heç de mi kımmadım? Mana yok, mən onda kımmadım deyip, köz tüşünün özü mü? Onda kımmaz, şuncula dərdi bu getken, o yada onda kımmaz, adamlarını satıcı çıkıştı mı, koxup getken hazır. Yani şununla hazır özünü yaxşı köz tüşünün, belki hayat kağalla, hem de aç türmede kirip ölüp kalmay, hayat kip kağalla bozu mu hazır, hem de çıkılıp hayat yaşamadı da, şununla bana paydası bu adı da, nemiş ki, çoxum Amerika hükümetinin kağan her bir işinden paydası buludu. Ben onun işini mi? Ben biz şunun neticesi de aşk halkara namuş ya nimiste namuş Amerika hükümet namuş da kuvvetlerine müşahede ben yolduşum kuvvet beğendim çıktım namuşa çıkan yana şahitler var şu an aynısı. Muşla ne bismi ne? Çünkü mina dayıdanım yanım var halkara da dünyada tahtayını mina dayıdan çokum sen nimicin ne mesela ailenim cem kumayvadı da bu kanuni neslim kumayvadı da şunun için şununla çokum bir tedbir kullanış gerekte onun da mı katkırak? Hatta hükümde çan azad, azır kıvatkan iş doğruluk zat bir yerden tutulduğun bir işini kılış gerek de boyu. Bu ne olur? Bu aile ne deyiz? Mesela çetelde turvatkan, anısının balısının alıp getkiler bek çık. Hatta anısını ayak dikilen evet meyvatkan, ballarımız çetelde kip bakan, nurgun aile var bizden. Bu da mısın? Bu için bir tercüm kıl olayı. I believe that, you know, the pressure from the US government has been working. Because when we look at the reaction from Chinese government, Chinese government already started, like, you know, um, started saying that, you know, we are not doing bad things. You know, um, they are kind of starting to um, probably treat um, a little bit differently than before. Um, I hope that, you know, those who are survived until now from the, in the camps and the prisons, I hope that they can still live a little bit um, longer because um, she she she said that you know she experienced that you know a lot of death was happening over there too. She also said that you know, but there are a lot of work needs to be done. Uh, for example, um, there are children in the outside of China, and there are 
whose parents are back in China, and there are parents whose children are still living in China. So the family reunification is not happening. We would like to see that you know some specific action uh, could be taken to to bring a resolution to this uh, and uh, reunite families. Thank you. That actually very much picks up on the subsequent questions that were in the Q and A. Um, again, I think that there's a lot of uh, compassion and sympathy uh, for your experience, and then this kind of question of a, a kind of activism question of of what can be done. Um, and I, I think there are limits, um, but I think you're right. Like the greater publicity on the extent to which there's a focus on specific actions uh, could have some positive impact. Um, one question I'll ask, and using my prerogative as um, as kind of uh, running Q&A, um, what do you, do you see that there's a similarity or camaraderie between the experience of the Uyghurs? that of the Tibetans, my own work is primarily on Tibet and the experience that Tibet has had under Chinese rule, uh, extending into Hong Kong. So, so do, do you see a solidarity uh, with Tibetans and Hong Kongers? Um, and how could maybe the groups build upon that um, in the future? So um, just for clarification, are you asking about the solidarity between the Tibetans, Hong Kongs, and Uyghurs in outside of China, or are you asking about the, a kind of similarity experience? I think the, both. I, one would be the question of similarity. I, I have done research on Tibet, and I think there are some aspects of what the Tibetans have undergone over the past you know, 10 years that are similar. Chen Chuan Gua was first there before he went to Xinjiang, right? So there's that. Uh, point of continuity, but I, so both the experience and also the question of if in terms of, of, of coordination and in terms of pressure, if it's all these groups together, would that not be more effective? Professor Alan and the Kimniki Tatkati, Tibet La Amanikinavo, Shangan Lara Margazeshkin Kentucho, Shanga Tibet Lana Tarik, Tibet Lanik, Mushokta, you can make Niki, Punala Asta, Ketchigan, Sarkozeshir, Mina Hirumba, Ulama, Chinchin Gomez Langa, Slanikisha, Turkestan, Birish Timbrun, Hotaida, Ulada Bermonche, Uyada Bermonche, Nimalan Kadi, Bastrishan Kahan can I a good grip get the book him no soalem the Yeni Mustrap Laden, a bridge solemn is up to Branja de Musha Tibetlan of Bastin Ketur Galerbilan, Ulan of Bastin Ketur Galerna, Utrusta, Kondak, Oxeshla Bamo, Oxeshla Bosa, Brazrahtas Belapas, was dead on a key and again. Yan Berget of Trashkin Soli, Solan Hashkin Stanoke, um, Massama Chetel de Azer, Tibet Laba, Ulamo, Arcat Quatodo, Ula Market Quatodo, Shangan Hla Market Quatodo, Shunaki, Mudapur, Urtakil, the Rampur Nutolor Bamo Barta, Massan, Shunkil, Irem Irem, Bissim Shayendan, or the Urta Bissim Shesa, Bissinaki, Unimitim Yashbomando, Sumushak, Karasanas, and the Chiki, Chiki. Berenjisi, Minan, Unon de Bladonim, Men Ash Uchada, Vetende, Chunchango Kaya, what the Dian Berir is given Ash Putin Adam Lebletia, Uch the Deptia would get me. Men Tibet the Beshil Tudum, Beshil Tur, Beshil, Men Tibetan Adam their name, and only Yakir Tibet Beshil Tudum that answers? A yak, Chunchango Dian Gipida, the men Beshil Tibet the Bashkodum, Beshil Pashkoranda, Tibet Alele, Berberse Kucha the Manda. Berbersin karab gap kalıştın kokudan derecede kıvırttım. Ben şundak rejim bilen başkurdum. Mesela şu endem ben Şincanga geldim, Şincanga kolumu aldım. Ben Şincanga üzem koyup bir, ben üzem birdirip kalma. Mang işen sen de çün Şincanga piyano şunda depto, bariyeng başlık depto, çün Şincanga diye dep. Aşte biz yedim anlayımız o şundak yapmani. Lakin ben Tibetlerle bir vasıt kurşup kumdum. Resmi çün Şincanga nom diye aşte gibini, de aşte de bu gandı. Çünkü biz hayran kalıp ki bu yandak. Bunim diye ne do kandakla dep aşta kahiran kapkala aşta kitke. Ahır kendi o. Kara işi mana ama. Lakin o barındılla bağ bağan nima. Lakin şunda bosuma şimdi cengenin aşkı gibi nang öze emde. 
Mm, okay. So word of mouth, I heard that, you know, when Chinchengo came to uh, in um, East Turkestan, word of mouth, I heard that Chinchengo was saying that, you know, uh, during the five years of my governance in Tibet, I made Tibet people like, you know, um, uh, I made Tibet people uh, to the degree that they even couldn't like talk to each other like this, you know. Um, I put the fear among them so much, you know. Now I came to uh, East Turkestan. Of course, he would say Xinjiang uh, came to here, and then I will deal with these people, you know. So from that note, from that, uh, you know, um, statement, we we were shocked, and then we were thinking that what would happen to us, you know? What could he, you know, do to us Uyghurs? No, okay, so even though I don't have like um, direct uh, personal um, contact or you know um, the you know any communication experience with Tibet, from that note, from Chinchengos that note, Chinchengos that note, I know that you know what I can feel that you know what Tibetans have felt under the Chinchengo. So Chinchengo Keldish no blan lagar no başladı. So ya o şu tarda planı çıkan planı şu buldu şu. Lekin ikinci sualınızda deyliğinin biz Tibet ıı, Hong Kong'lu ula bilen, ula bilen hazır mış ıı, terepten bizden nimemiz var. Onun en akıla bizde mi kişilik hukuk depsende bu vardı da uyuya da ulanan okşaşla men Nurgun Kitim aşık Hong Kong'lu ula Tibetlilerle birli namayışlığa çıktık. Biz hatta New York'lağın bir birli kitilep namayış kılduk. Aşk namayışlarımda nimeden belki köz anla buldu nimet Tibetlilerde bağ. Ula ula birli her vaxt aş Aksaray'nın ağıdı üç gün konup aş Hong Kong'lu ula birli namayış kılganda meşahede ilgi Amerika'ma ilgi kaysı kuzatlanan anlamda nimi ol. Alpidarlanan anlamda nimi bile. Alpidarlığa bağ aşla hemimiz birli Yuqla bile, aşına maşlar da bile bulduğumuz her daim bizim ula bilen. Çünkü bizden nimemiz hazır, okşaşla ilgi kişilik hukukumuz dertsen de bu adı da. Bizden hatta hemde. Vatınımız nima, nimbisi bilip, aşmışta xorla vadat adamlarımız ne, inakla. Şu aşka çoğun tarafından bizden nimemiz bir yerden çıkıdı ula bile. So she, she said that, you know, after Chinchengo came, um, he probably came with a plan that you know he started the uh, um, large scale of arbitrary detention, deten detention as well as the camps. So after I came to USA, um, I had a, actually numerous chances, the opportunities that you know I, I, I attended the protest where. Um, I attended protest where the Tibetans as well as Hong Kongers were there as well. So. Um, for example, in, in New York, as well as, you know, the three days protest um, in front of the White House, we, we, uh, we came as a like big kind of united group. There were Tibetans, Uyghurs, as well as um, Hong Kong people. And um, I, I was, yeah, um, I was, um, uh, yeah, so uh, she was saying that, you know, we all, are facing and have experienced human rights violations by Chinese government. And um, our land was taken and our people are suffering. In many aspects, we have the common ground where we, um, we, where we stand together to uh, fight against Chinese oppression as well as human rights violations. Thank you. Um, there was one question um, at the end of the Q&A um, asking Antrasani to revisit um, the, the, the, her story uh, just for a clarification. The experience that you were detained twice, um, and I don't know that what like what you what yours was that, and for how long were you detained um, both the first time and the second time? Hmm. <gülüyor> Aşağıda ben hoşumdan gitip bir ayda bek eğri dersi üyedim, mecburi aşı, çoşku görüşe, harak, iş kızıp bizi kıynap, şu aşı kazdım, yallığımız gitip doktor hana çıktım. İşkinci gittim, 
İşkemen 18 üçüncü ayına onu günü lagere kırdım. Daha çok kuzey bulamda şu üçüncü ayına ondan başla on işkence ayına cigerim beşi men çıktım lagerdim. Dikin öykamakta yana çok kuzey turp onu dikin çok kuzey dikin Kazakistan'a gittim. Öykamakta doğdum çok kuzey. Ayet çıkıp öyle çok kuzey turp. Ah öyle çok kuzey aşağı yanma. Müslümanın nimesi de. Yok ama hatayımız o işki sakçı daim ki bakalım ne mi? Okay. So she said, Tushnay said, she was detained for the first time on April 2017, and she was detained for one month. Afterwards, she she was sent to hospital to stay there to receive treatment because. Um, because of the stomach infection um, at the camps, she, she was forced to eat pork and uh, and the, the the food is over there it was not was what's what's very poor so she got the stomach um, infection so that's why she had to transfer to the hospital after one month's arrest and after that she she was allowed to go home and she was arrested again on um 10th of march uh, 2018 and this time she was detained until 25th of december uh, almost like a little bit more than nine months and then she was under ho house arrest for nine months and then she she was allowed to go to kazakhstan um there's a really interesting question here about the well obviously this was a traumatic experience um and then go having gone through that trauma how then you feel um and this is a i guess a, very, a pretty personal question but but it, i think it's it's really compelling how you feel then about the chinese government and do you feel the same way about the chinese people or is there a difference between how you look at the government of China, the PRC, and other and Chinese people themselves? So, Moshu Kajir Mishrangas then Kins Zazer Messen, um, Hta Yukmitiki Kanda Karaisis, Hta Halaka Kanda Karaisis, Sizna Ashla Tukama Manas and Messen Ula Oshish Karamses, Ya Oshmaida and Yadar Bamudid. Bunondaman Hta Yukmitiga. Hatti loğtay hükümetin azır kuvvetin kanunsuzluğa men karşı. Hatay halkının hemiz okşaşemez. Üyedim biz ge bazları onda kumaydı bazları okşaşemez. Onun hemiz okşaş diye men bazları resmi uç kaşkar. Hacep yaş buldu uygurlanın kambet gini. Hacep eski bula eski bula yok oldu biz hatırcam yaşadık. Men öz, közüm bilen öz kulağım bilen köz aldım bir boğan iş. Meşlagardan çıkan dikin bir ayal sayat qıp kelgan bir xitay ayalning ashta degan nima o'z huquqlig'im bilan olgan ko'z oldimda ashta degandi hajab yaxshi bo'ldi bu ularni biz hozir kam tasha xotirjam sayatlab keldik biz shikirdin miyaga hozir uyg'urlanib qan bitib biz degan shunday yaxshi bo'lib qoldi rahmat deb yaxshi bo'ldi ularni ashta o'tirayotgan yaxshi deb ashta degandi masalan o'sha taqda aytganlar bor ba'zilari bu hayran qilib men nima degan sayohat bundanmi bo'lamda degan xitaylarni ko'rdim o'xshash emas ular xalqqa unda ko'z qarshim biroq qilib nima emas lekin xitoy hukumatiga 100% qarshi men bu Communist Party dünyadan yok up gitmiş gerek de böyle hemen. I am a uh, hundred percent against um, Chinese government and what it is doing to to to to the innocent people, and I would love to them to perish from the surface of the earth because they are not doing the right thing. And uh, for the Chinese people, it it's really a bit complicated because some Chinese people they are very supportive of the Chinese Communist Party and uh, like I myself I experienced that what Chinese some of the Chinese people would say you know you know back in East Turkestan I heard that Chinese people say some people saying oh it's good that you know the Uyghur people should be killed and you know then we can have a you know life here you know they just fe feeling that you know it's better for us to not having any Uyghurs around us they just uh, like explicitly say that you know but some chinese people they took a different approach they would uh, they said that what kind of the you know policy that chinese government are implementing on the uyghurs what is this happening they they were questioning so there are different you know um attitude or reaction 
uh, from the Chinese people. That's, that is, I understand, but to the, towards the Chinese government, 100%, I am against. That's what Tursun I said, yeah. So I'm gonna ask a follow-up question. Um, the policy, I, I study Chinese politics and Chinese foreign relations, and the intention of the policy is to create greater loyalty, to fold Xinjiang more into the People's Republic of China, and yet it causes in you, and I assume in anyone who goes through it, uh, the opposite reaction. So in the Q&A, there's some questions too, like I, I guess, and maybe you can't answer this, but what then, what is the motivation of the P, of of the PRC, what's the what's what's behind the pol such a brutal policy? Um, because it seems to actually harm their own interests. Um, but Ulani <gülüyor> Okay. Uh, said that you know the intention is to erase Uyghur's people, <coughs> just delete them, uh, because you know even before this um, large scale of genocide started, Uyghur people already kind of submissive. You know, um, sort of you know the um, uh, our languages, you know Uyghur language have been disappeared from the schools. We said, okay, you know, everything like, you know, the life was normal. And then there was no kind of aggressive action towards a lot of discriminatory policies uh, from the Chinese government. We were just leaving, you know, it's like, you know, Chinese government didn't didn't have to, you know, to put all this force and investment I and mean, to all this, spend all this money to, you know, um, to do this genocide. You know, it didn't have to do, uh, it didn't have to happen this way because we were not aggressive or, you know, we were not like um, fighting really against uh, the discriminative um, policies. If like now we, we are actually, uh, we are actually um, experiencing the genocide, the, the main intention of the Chinese Communist Party is to like erase the Uyghurs, erase the Uyghur identity, completely, you know, erase them. Ah, duty. Okay. No, I'm too good. Um, she said that's my answer. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Um, there was a question about um, the broader policy and, and the detention facilities and where they were located. Um, were were they mostly near cities, or they spread out across all of um, the region? Uh, and were they newly built or re uh, repurposed buildings? This is another question. I'm not sure on this I'm sure Lagerland and get all the giant shit or look and check this is dead. And the Bula and Missy and the Kuruamo, yeah, the compared Marset level and was get to get more on the board. Um, <laughs> 
şu doktor han lağır gaylandır vetti, bırakla özgürlük başka ya küçük vet doktor han e, Murgun mektepleri açtak lağır gaylandı di, açtak özgürlükte mahsus onu dikin ki adam tohtmayı tuttu, bula başta aşında kalıp abadi ki lağır ne mahsus saldı ya aş yuvat aş mektepten küçük bir kub kaza dairesini yuvat etmesini bin alan silip adam kalmadı, açtak derecede abadi bütün hem mi yerde şimdi canım şunda kalıdı, resmi mahsus kaskanın bir yerde ben çünkü lagrdan çıkan bir ağır bir kaşka hotellerim arlab badim ben. Şu yada mahsus bir aral kaşka, la apar adamların lagr sahada. Eşte işliyen bir adam Kazakistan gazır geldi ba Kazak kişi. Eşte lagrdan işlerini ornatkan bir adam. Eşte uygulan kamaş için mahsus çok bir lagr sahan. Eğer demiş halkların adam bir tohur kesmem barattım çokum. Ben kuchmaydım çokum bıldı bir ip mektup lagrdan kustu bir ettim çokum bıldı kan lagrdan hamısını. E yanım mı bardı kan lagrdan belki bıldı kan lagrdan şeyler bardı kuchmaydı da bu ilayım ben ölümden kuchmaydı biz çokum bir ip tekşir dedi barat biz kustu bir et. Um, I personally don't have like specific numeric like statistics about the camps, but what I know is that a lot of schools, school buildings. And the hospital buildings have been transferred into camps and detention centers. For example, in Kunas, we have um, uh, it's called um, second and the fourth kind of uh, training school, training centers. Uh, there, uh, the buildings over there, educational buildings over there, the buildings that was uh, you know um, built for the educational purposes was um, trans uh, uh, transferred to camps. And also another hospital in Wulja city, uh, it is called the Sudarwaza hospital. That hospital actually, the whole hospital was transferred to another place and then the original buildings over there were trans transferred into um, detention centers. I also know that, you know, um, the camps, uh, you know, detention centers were built all over the East Turkestan. And uh, because because the the demand of these camps and the, you know, the persons and detention centers were increasing because of the continuous and large scale of the detention by the Chinese government. So, uh, you know, they have to build and or transfer the buildings continuously. I know that one person uh, just came to Kazakhstan from China. He somehow managed to come to Kazakhstan. I know that that person was um, taking the responsibility for putting the gates of the detention centers in, Ka in Kashgar city. So I know, you know, um, he did that job. And if there is any chance, I would love to go and to the East Turkestan and show one by one, you know, the camps are detention centers that I know that I can show and do them. And I wish that, you know, I can uh, go with any international group, you know, I, I'm not afraid of death. You know, I'm not afraid of anything. I really would like to speak out. And uh, if I have any chance, I would go and show um, the detention facilities over there to the world. It, that leads I, I, to a question about the the world's response uh, to what has happened in Xinjiang and whether Uyghurs are are sort of disappointed with um, the extent to which the international community has criticized China and and I'll kind of wrap that into a question about um, about Muslims uh, and the degree to which the Uyghur people largely being Islamic, does that, do you think that that has led to less sympathy um, from the West? Um, and it's a not an easy question to ask, but there were some acts of political violence which had occurred um, in East Turkestan, Xinjiang um, over the years uh, and obviously then the question of terrorism um, and its intersection with Islam, um, if that, how, how you view that. And I know that's a difficult question, but- I, Yeah, I think, I think if we simplify your question, it is mainly about, uh, do you think that, you know, there is a lack of sympathy from the Muslim yeah. um, communities around the world towards yours, right? Yeah. Okay. Tursnay, um, thank you. Um, Tursnay, they do came the Muo Azer Nurun Nelka Tankla Ba, Kanda Tank Tigajada, Azer Musmala, 
Müslümanlar dünyası hazır uygulağa tekhiçe bir iş kandak bir manda kolaydığa inkas kaytu mu dedi deydi oyunu. Kaytu mu dedi bu ne için de karaysız? Bu lanın ki silahın evalanlarını düşünmezdik ki silahın istatçılık kumaslıkı da ne sebep vardı deydi. Ne mi desem bula? Değiştim mi mekni muskulu mu? Mən rast. Hakikaten mən şundak mı nefretildi mi? Hem Müslüman devletlerine bek düşüncelik bir. Ulanın bilmeyme Ola Müslüman boğunu bilen hiç kaçan yağandı Müslüman boğandık risk kalma bazda. Lakin ulanın nimi çünkü da kuat kumlamaya cevap gelende ulanın yanla şu xtaynan puli şuncular bir küçük buvada da hazır şu aksat cehetten aş nimi cehetten ula belki kütüle xtaynan aş nesleri aldım buvada da. Soğudu münasvet buvada da. Lakin Müslüman da ondak daydıgan nersi yok da polime. Benim bizim Müslüman hem uygur. Iı, Milletim Uyghur biz Müslüman bu tolduk Müslüman bu bölümümüz hiç kaçan özgür kamaymız onda hakikatsız Müslüman ben ula, ulanın bu dünyada nim buluşunu bilmeyme ula cevabını Allah'a buyurdu onun biz hazır hiç kan dağına erişimi demeyme şunun için ulağa lakin ben maaş muşun dağda insan perver muşu yana muş Avrupa'da muş Amerikalıklağa muşun Amerikalık neçü devletle ben çın kalbimde rahmet etme bulamı çıkılıp Allah razı olsun başka işten diyemeyme siz başta dediğiniz, ben namaz kılmadı. O dediğin azam değil, asli Müslümanlar ümit kütke mi yapmanız? Kütke, elbet kılış gerek. Biz üçün bir Müslüman, bir, birisi üçün birisi kerindişimiz de böyle mende. Müslüman bu anlık o biz bilen kerindaş. Çünkü o için okay. cenine bir iş gerek. Hmm, biz üçün şunculuk dersi de buluş gerek. Onda kılan mı dedi olar? Kılan mı yavadı? Hmm. Ben, ben şu an bazı bir kez. Hmm. Ben Müslüman aldım, hıcalat bulunma bek. Mm. So she said that you know um, I don't know really how to uh, how should I you know how can I articulate myself and my my thoughts on this because um, she said that I feel embarrassed. I said uh, later on I asked her why did you feel like you know, embarrassed? Did you you know did you have a uh, high hopes of the Muslims? And she said of course I had the hopes. That's why I feel so embarrassed while the while the Western Western world is really supportive and the Muslim world has been silent. So. I felt embarrassed because initially I feel um, I was hoping quite high from the Muslim world because you know we are Muslims and they are Muslims and they should have the responsibility or the empathy to us to support us. But I don't know why they are not supporting us. Why don't they speak up for us? Why don't they show any support to us? But I guess that because of the um, um, business relationship with China, and uh, you know the all about money things like that but again you know as a muslims um they have the duty to care for their brothers and sisters in the same religion so i can't understand why they put the money over the people and um um, um by saying that i really would like to thank for USA and the other countries who are showing support and putting pressure on china and um um, I really appreciate that help. That is what we really need. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think we're we're getting towards towards the end. I know Magnus, you wanted to to speak um, before we wrap things up. Um, this has been a lot of of really important um, information and uh, a lot to sort of process just as listener. <laughs> Um, so um, I don't know, Magnus, do you want to um, kind of wrap things up? Just before that, can I say yeah. something? Absolutely. And I just noticed one question over there saying that what's happening after China um, has closed the concentration camps. From my understanding, from my own experience, even though the Chinese government has declared that uh, the camps have been uh, like closed, I think it was end of the 2019 or 20, they said they declared that camps are closed, you know, the training like finished, but it's not. If not, if, if it is the case, where is my brother? Where is my brother? He was detained in January 2017 until now. He is still in detention, where is he? An innocent people, an innocent person, and uh, his like you know millions of other you know brothers and sisters. Where are they? As far as I know, that you know, if they really close the camp, concentration camps, they either changed it to prison or forced camp, forced labor. You know, otherwise, where is my brother? So I mean, I'm here. I would like to say that please don't easily um, trust what Chinese government said. 
they are not trustworthy. Mm -hmm. We have been already mm -hmm. seeing that, you know, in even international arenas, they have been breaking a lot of their promises, promises that they have made. Uh, yeah, that's the note I would like to make. Thank you, Rose. Magnus? Muting myself. Thank you so much, uh, Risangul. And uh, of course, uh, the duplicity of the Chinese government on this started with the camps, because at first they denied that the camps even existed. Mm. Uh, and, and when satellite imagery uh, and uh, survivor testimonies and other kinds of evidence proved that they were building this massive new camp system, yeah. Yeah. then they tried to change the story and say, yes, there are these camps, but uh, they're not really camps, they're just schools, uh, just like Tursun I was uh, mentioning before. So I completely agree that um, one cannot trust uh, uh, what they put out when they say the camps have been closed. What's happening also is that some people are being transferred to forced labor situations mm -hmm. uh, or to prisons. Or well, even some for ha organ harvesting, sorry, yeah. Or even inland uh, prisons, yes. yeah. Yes, I was also going to say that, that there is no direct evidence, but there's also the possibility that we are witnessing a process where they're sorting out those that can be used in forced labor mm -hmm. and those they cannot maybe are sent to prison or killed. And there are um, the Uyghur tribunal um, last uh, year concluded that uh, it's a distinct possibility that um, uh, organ harvesting is also going on on those that um, have come through this system. Uh, I wanted to add something else. Um, and that is, um, I also mentioned at the beginning that um, the United Nations Human Rights uh, Chief, the High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, she came into office 2018. And uh, in her first speech, she already spoke about how worried she was about what's happening to the Uyghurs. Uh, and um, since then, she has been um, negotiating with the Chinese government to visit, to do an inspection in her capacity as the world's highest official for human rights. But that has not happened because they want to um, stage manage and only show her happy dancing people and not take her to those places where Tursune probably would, would take her to, to show them. And uh, she has then said that uh, this trip probably cannot happen uh, because we don't get anywhere in this negotiation. Instead, and this is after the Uyghur tribunal in September in London concluded uh, with its major report on what's been happening. Uh, she then said that she would issue her own report from the United Nations Human Rights uh, Office in Geneva. And that was in December. And then it has not arrived. They said it would be in weeks and it has not arrived. So I think one of the things that we can do uh, all around the world is to uh, demand that uh, Michelle Bachelet should publish her findings on what is happening. And uh, I think that she should also propose that there's a tribunal, an official UN tribunal set up to prosecute the crimes that uh, have been happening. Overall, I want to say that I think uh, I put in the chat here uh, a couple of suggestions for what people can do. They can go to the website of the Uyghur Human Rights Project in DC. They have a nice list uh, of uh, suggestions for how you can contribute. But I think the number one thing is really information tell people what's happening. Now we have the war in Ukraine and people may be forgetting that this is still happening. So everyone can pitch in and tell their friends and share this video, which we will upload uh, so that um, we contribute to, to uh, teaching people, letting people know about what is happening and that China must be held to account uh, for this. Uh, I really wanted thank uh, Alan for a brilliant uh, moderating and uh, Amala uh, from um, Amala Lane from the East Asia program, who's been uh, helping us set this up. 
and also our brilliant um, two guests, uh, Rizangul and Tursune. I am so very impressed with uh, you <laughs> strong Uyghur women uh, and uh, to listen to your voices has been uh, a treat. I thank you so much. And everyone who's been here, thank you for attending. Uh, uh, as we said, we're going to post uh, this video so that you can revisit it and share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.